In this tutorial, I will show you how to simulate AnyBuilder Hi-Fi assembly with a single insert in SnapGene. To simulate the assembly with multiple fragments, check out our other tutorial. To begin with, go to Actions, AnyBuilder Hi-Fi DNA assembly, and select Insert Fragment. The first step is to define and prepare your vector for assembly. If your desired vector file is already open in SnapGene before opening the AnyBuilder, Hi-Fi assembly window, it will automatically be selected. To choose a different vector file, simply use the drop-down menu to pick a recently viewed file, or specify another file located on your computer. The vector must be linearized for the assembly, either through PCR or restriction digestion. If you're linearizing your vector via PCR, select the Linearize by PCR option. Then shift-click on the two desired primers in your file. SnapGene will highlight the amplified region in the map view. If appropriate primers are not present on the vector, SnapGene can design them for you. In this case, select the vector region to be amplified, or simply click within the sequence to define the point of linearization by PCR. Alternatively, select the Linearize by Restriction Enzymes option if you're using restriction digestion to linearize the vector. To specify the restriction enzymes, you can either use the drop-down menus, or shift-click on the two enzymes in the map view to select them. Finally, if you need to change the orientation of your linearized vector, use the arrow buttons here. With the vector sequence prepared, switch to the Fragment tab. There are three ways you can add your fragment sequence. You can use the drop-down menu to the right, or drag the sequence file into the window, Alternatively, you can simply select the Click Here option to find the file on your computer. With the fragment file selected, you next need to specify the sequence of interest. For this, choose a feature in the map view. Or switch to Sequence view and click and drag on the desired sequence. Next, switch to the Final tab called Product, and select the Choose Overlapping PCR Primers button to adjust your primer settings. In the new window, set your desired PCR primer melting temperature. You can also specify the desired number of bases for the overlapping ends, or a range of bases with the desired target melting temperature for the overlap. There is also the option to regenerate or remove one or both restriction sites in the final plasmid. Once you're happy with the settings, select Choose Primers to design the primers. Next, switch to the Sequence view to assess the fusion boundaries and preview the primer sequences. When you're happy with the preview, simply give the file a name and click Assemble to create the plasmid. You can switch to the Primers tab in the New Product file to view the newly designed primers and their characteristics. Switching to the History tab will provide an overview of the steps performed in the AnyBuilder Hi-Fi Assembly simulation. For more SnapGene tutorials, visit snapgene.com.